four home games, but able here to field the full-strength team. Although number seven, Adrian Heath, had to pass a fitness test just an hour ago on an ankle injured in the midweek League Cup win, and he plays with it heavily strapped. Manchester City are without two players, starting suspensions, Kevin Bond and Asa Hartford, and so are pleased to welcome back at number four, Nicky Reed, for his first match since returning from a summer with Seattle in the North American Soccer League. And named as sub, 16th senior game for City last week, after just one match in the reserves. And it's Everton in the darker shirts who kick off, attacking the goal to the left. A fixture that has bristled with incident in the past. Last time these teams met at Main Road last March, Trevor Francis was sent off in a 1-1 draw. Heath, number seven. Six, McMahon. Sharp. Burrows the fullback. Couldn't get the ball past. Paul Powell, the city caption. Everton win the throw. Marvellous still afternoon at Goodison Park. Perfect conditions for football. It's McMahon with the throw for Everton. Sharp. Heath chips it up. Johnson. David Johnson stealing in, but straight into the arms of Alex Williams, the city goalkeeper. Oh, he's made a marvellous run into space behind the fullbacks. Caton in front of him. Gets around him. Oh, terrific play by little Adrian Heath. Only pass fit an hour before the kickoff. Getting around the central defender, Tommy Caton, and putting in the shot straight into the chest of Williams. Well, little Adrian Heath, known as Inchy to his teammates, playing with his injured right ankle. And no signs yet that that's giving him any trouble. Sheedy. Heath again in so much space. This time from long range. Inches past the post. Well, what a little dynamo this man is. The game barely a few minutes old. And that's three strikes he's had on goal. Referee today, George Tyson of Sunderland. Higgins. Sharp. Chris Jones for City. There's got to be a whistle for something there. One or two feet were rather high. Good play. This is Burrows, the fullback. Sheedy to turn the other way. McMahon quickly closed down by power. Rather gives it away to Stewart, who slipped and have it, have it back. This is King. Foul against Ransom, turned into his man. Ray Ransom also in the England under 21 squad for that game on Tuesday against West Germany. And is the first player here to get his name into the book of referee George Tyson of Sunderland. Sheedy claims that he got a touch and the referee agrees. So it's a corner. Kevin Sheedy came here from Anfield. One of two ex-Liverpool players in this Everton side. David Johnson the other. McMahon with the corner. Andy King can retrieve this. Number four within there is Higgins. Tried to get in the cross and didn't succeed. Had to hold Horaidi. So City get a free kick. Good 
header by Billy Wright. Can have another go. Applause from the Goodison crowd. Although Everton have lost possession. And get the throw. Andy King scrapping for possession. Bailey. King. Bailey again. Kevin Sheedy. David Johnson to McMahon. Sharps number nine. Got the header. David Johnson was there. And who got the touch? The referee says it was Johnson. For number nine, Graham Sharp, getting up to that cross, nodding it down, and David Johnson stealing in and just touching it over the bar. Easy for Bailey. Well, I think Sharp must have known Nicky Reed was going to get that, but he never checked. And it's a throw to Everton. To be taken by Sheedy. That's Sharp. Higgins. Bailey gets into some good positions the fullback John Bailey and likes to go forward as he's doing so here oh finds Andy King touch back to Sharp just behind him Burrows the other Everton fullback also involved in the attack McMahon Sheedy beaten away by the knees of Williams well Williams is busy he knows this might be his last game in the first team with Corrigan playing for the A-team today, but he had to be sharp with that shot from Sheedy. Number six, Steve McMahon with the throw. Seven is Heath. Dodging and trying to find a space. And gets one. Couldn't quite pull it free. Sheedy. And Wright knocks it out to David Johnson. King. Trying to wriggle space. Johnson. Again, City keeping the door closed. McMahon slipped. Well, I'm not sure how intentional that kick was by McMahon. He rather stuck his boot out trying to pull the ball back. But it must have hurt. David crossed the man down. So it's a corner to Everton. So Kevin Sheedy with this corner for Everton. Knocked on by Sharp to Andy King. <laughs> Sheedy took the corner. It was knocked on by number nine Sharp. And there was Andy King lurking at the far post to squeeze it in between the keeper and the woodwork. Everton won, City nil. Stewart. Ransom. Reeves. Andy King gets his fifth goal of the season, which makes him Everton's top scorer. Jones with the corner for City. Southall pushed it out, only as far as David Cross, who drilled it into the Everton net. And two goals in the space of a minute. Southall shouting at his defenders, but he might feel himself that he should have claimed that corner. The ball only pushed out as far as the city number nine, David Cross, who drilled it first time into the Everton net for his fourth goal of the season. And now he's city's top scorer.
right. And Higgins. Sheedy. Was Caton climbing? Yes, he was. Everton get the free kick. Crosses come back to help the defence. Sheedy takes the free kick. And Cross with the clearance. And Billy Wright with plenty of time to look out and find players on a run. Tries to find Bailey, who rather jumped at Nicky Reed. And City get the free kick. Bailey clears his head. City chairman Peter Swales in the natty hat, the spectacles and with the cigar. Bailey. Goes around Stewart. Might find, well, he could have looked for Sharp, but finds Sheedy instead. Heath looked as though he was held there by number 10, Hage Haraide, the Norwegian international. And that's the way the referee saw it. And it's Haraide's name who now goes into the book. Alongside that of Ray Ranson. So two City players booked. Five is Billy Wright, also with him. And this is Wright. Out to Higgins. And up and under. Oh, a clear push in the back. And this time it looks like Tommy Caton's going to be booked. Well, there was no doubt about that. I mean, one might say it was clumsy. It was certainly an offence, and referee Tyson of Sunderland says it deserves a booking. Graham Sharp knocked breathless by that challenge from Tommy Caton, the third City player to have his name taken. Well, Everton are certainly getting lots of practice with the free kicks outside the penalty area. What do they work this time? Billy Wright chips it forward. Burrows with the throw. Finds Heath. Everton throw. Powers interception. Andy King can find Bailey. Chooses instead Higgins. Oh, a good ball out to the right-back Burrows. McMahon. David Johnson. King. McMahon. This is bright football by Everton. Sheedy's 11. Seven is Heath. What a tackle that was by Caton. Little Heath popped up with the goal at his mercy. And big Tommy Caton smothered the shot. Williams comes to claim that one. So, Caton involved, a foul and his name in the book, and then a telling save almost on the line from Heath. Sheedy. Billy Wright. Bailey in support, the left back. Andy King. Still Bailey there. Shows a bit of dainty footwork, and was fouled, was he, by Baker? So, yet again, Everton get a free kick. Just outside the penalty area. And this time, different tactics. Well, there was a few players went down then, including the referee. And what will he do if this goes in the net? Because he doesn't know what's going on. And he ought to blow his whistle to bring it all to a halt. Well, the referee, Tyson was not flat as the players watched the ball there. And he's completely winded. A 
what a good job it is the ball didn't go in the net because I'm not sure what he could have done. He wouldn't have seen the play and would have had to rely presumably on his linesman. Well, referee Tyson back on his feet and just about it appears able to continue although he's clearly quite shaken. at this moment to continue in charge Burrows John Bailey must have touched the ball in this match more than any other player Sharp Bailey David Johnson McMahon Burrows Man supporting. Billy Wright. Sharp. Inevitably to Bailey. Heath. Again stealing into space. Oh, and turning so well. Oh, a marvellous little shot. Adrian Heath playing with his right ankle heavily strapped after the knock that he received against Newport in the League Cup tie in midweek. Last time Everton won a trophy, Howard Kendall, their manager, was a player back in 1969-70, the League Championship. Another Everton throw off the head of Caton. David Johnson. Sheedy. Burrows. Alex Williams, this 20-year-old coloured goalkeeper from my side, was rather guilty of being off his line there. When Brian Burrows, the right back, hit that one, Williams was forced to make a good save. And it wouldn't have been so hard if he'd been standing back on his line. Into the last minute, at the end of this first half. And it ends the way it seems to have been played, with number three, Bailey in possession. And that's a corner to Everton. Their seventh of this first half. 11 Sheedy. And both of Everton's central defenders, Higgins and Wright, have gone forward. Four and five. Touched on by Sharp! Well, there was a despairing hand, and I think it was the hand of Williams. As that clutch of players went up. Almost a repeat of the corner which brought Everton's goal. And finally, the referee's whistle goes at half-time. A bright, entertaining first 45 minutes, with Everton taking the lead in the 25th minute through Andy King, his fifth goal of the season from a corner, which makes him Everton's top scorer. And then City replying almost immediately, again from a corner, with David Cross, their scorer, his fourth goal of the season, which makes him City's top scorer. A famous face from the past in the stand today, Joe Mercer, formerly a manager of Manchester City. That job now held by John Bond. And it was two years ago to the day exactly that City sacked Malcolm Allison, and four days after that, they appointed Bond as manager. Mr. Tyson's head has cleared after that bump that he got in the first half. Looks bright and lively. Was Cross climbing or had Higgins made a back? And Cross was climbing, Everton have the free kick. Bailey. Nine is sharp. Looks for some support, which he gets from Sheedy. Oof, that was Nicky Reed who hooked that one away. Heath. Looks tiny alongside Haradi. Oh, a marvellous goal! McMahon! Steve 
McMahon scored in the League Cup tie against Newport on Tuesday and gets on the score sheet here as well a flashing header as he sprinted in to meet that cross and Williams had no chance Everton 2, City 1 Can Everton end that run of three home defeats in the last three league meetings against Manchester City? Shot was from Baker and it came off Higgins. Goodison has been such a happy hunting ground for City in those past three seasons. Burrows. David Johnson. Andy King. Beaten by power. Baker now. Reeves number eight on the left, this is Reeves, gets in the cross, cruel, marvellous save by Southall, he took it right off the forehead of David Cross, a good run by Kevin Reeves on the left, he got in the cross, it looked good enough, Cross was there lurking, and Southall came to claim it, power, Giving it away to Andy King. Four on four for Everton. Nine is sharp. Caton, who came across in a hurry. Sheedy takes the corner. Touched on by Heath. Billy Wright. Billy Wright sprinting back to the defensive position will know that he should have scored then. <laughs> Referee waves play on, although Cross clearly had his hand across the face of Higgins. Cross explaining how it happened. Sheedy, lovely ball to find Adrian Heath. And Williams comes off his line and got the important touch. Billy Wright, number five, who has gone forward. Behind him there, David Johnson. Burrows. Johnson. Everton's throw. The City guilty again of not really clearing their lines. Everton are finding it so easy to get possession back. Bailey. Power. And here again, Everton are back in possession. Andy King, number 10. Oh, he tried to chip it over the challenge of Caton. Just lifted it too high. And Williams came off his line to steal it. Sharp. Andy King. McMahon can go all the way forward. There's nobody between him and the goal, apart from the keeper. Didn't get the connection that he would have wished. I think City were guilty there of looking at the linesman and expecting a flag. None came, and McMahon was able to go forward. As the City defenders sprinted after him, Williams came off his line, and McMahon screwed it wide of the post. Sharp and Caton got there first. Full power. Checks. Pursued by Burrows. Well, power's persistence pays off. City still in possession. Cross. Baker. Baker. Ransom. 
Oh, a great ball across the box. Cross was looking for it, beats the ground in dismay. So too was Dennis Stewart. But that firm ball by Ransom, the fullback, just evading both of them. And about to come on for his second senior game at the age of 16, Paul Simpson, the boy from Carlisle, who played just one reserve team game for City before being picked for his first senior match against Coventry last week and now coming on here as substitute, replacing number 11, Chris Jones. So an older player replaced with very much a youngster. Push by Haridi on Heath, who wasn't very happy. Referee Tyson just cooling down Adrian Heath, but remember he's in the England under 21 squad for that game against West Germany on Tuesday and certainly wouldn't want to aggravate his ankle injury. Playing with it heavily strapped. Bailey with the free kick. Referee says Everton throw. Johnson leaves it for number two, Brian Burrows, the right back. Sharp. McMahon. Sheedy. What a good clean strike of the ball by Kevin Sheedy. Only on the score sheet once since he came from Liverpool. Hit that first time as McMahon set him up. And it only flashed just wide of the post. Burrows. Full power. Nicky Reed. Shown rather a lot of that to King, but got it back. This is Simpson, the young boy. Haridi, he hasn't yet scored for City, and he still hasn't. 23 games he's played, Haridi, and not got on the score sheet, and he won't come closer than that. Seemed to have the goal at his mercy. It was beaten out to Stewart, who lifted it over the bar. Sharp. Nicky Reed penalised. Oh, and the City players weren't watching Sharp there. He went forward and King found him easy as you please. Sharp. Still Sharp. Got King in support now. Punched away from the head of Heath. Well, a rather a moment of slackness in the City defence to allow Sharp to steal into space on the right. King, as the whistle goes to end the match and to end the sequence of City victories at Goodison Park that stretches back for the last three seasons. Everton, the victors here, by two goals to one. The winner coming from Steve McMahon in the second half. A powerful header that gave the City keeper Alex Williams no chance at all. And Everton, after that win away against Newport in the League Cup in midweek, felt that they were on a high and were set to end that winning sequence by Manchester City, and that's what they've done. The full-time score, Everton 2, Manchester City 1.